stroke happens when a part of your brain dies due to a lack of a blood flow to the brain. Imagine, every two seconds, someone in the world suffers a stroke, and each four minutes, someone dies from stroke. I would like to start with what we think about stroke, because men tend to get heart diseases earlier, and they are at higher risk of stroke. Many of us believe that women are protected from stroke. However, one in five women had a stroke at some point in her life, and stroke even kills more women than breast cancer. No one is immune to stroke. It could affect your mom, your wife, and even your child. It appears from some studies that women had worse outcome of stroke than men, including mortality, disability, and quality of life. However, it is uncertain why it is the case. So my PhD projects will address this question. My aim is to examine the cause of the differences in the long-term outcome of stroke. I use the data from high-quality and generalizable studies around the world, including 16,000 stroke cases. My findings will inform both interventions and future research to reduce the sex disparity in stroke outcome. So far, I have found that women were 35% more likely to be diseased and 33% more likely to be disabled in the long term, consistently across regions and time period. So, how can it happen? The differences between men and women were explained by some factors. Women tend to be older, living alone, and have poor pre-stroke health. They also had more atrial fibrillation, what we call irregular heartbeat, than they had more severe stroke compared to men. Given these findings, I will suggest some strategies to reduce the difference, including management of the elderly and those with more severe stroke. This could be done by ensuring access to evidence-based care, especially greater stroke units. We must also manage our stroke risk factors well, including um, in women and the elderly. It could be through treating these factors by lifestyle, medicine, or better identification though at risk. My thesis is unraveling the differences between men and women after stroke and will hopefully make outcome better for everyone that suffered this devastating stroke. Thank you. Thank you.